The reason why we call this press conference has been obvious over the last several days uh, that in Economy Borough, the remains, namely the head of an unknown individual, was recovered in a remote area of the borough. We put a lot of effort into this case the last several days, and I'd like to commend the efforts of the Economy Borough Police Department and the coroner's office in coordinating and assisting in, in trying to discover the uh, identity of the individual involved. I think it's fair to stay at the, uh, state at this moment that there's somebody out there that had the assurance that their loved one, whether it be a grandmother, a mother, an aunt, that they were laid to peace, that they're resting in peace. Obviously, based on the discovery we made several days ago, that is not true for some family out there. And that is the reason why we put the effort into this that we've done so far and prepared to continue that effort, hopefully to identify the individual, the drawing that we've released here today, done by a forensic uh, artist. And again, I would emphasize that uh, we need the public's help. We need an identification of this individual so that we can piece together what exactly happened in this particular case, which led to this uh, discovery here in the borough. Uh, at this time, I would turn it over to Chief O'Brien. Thank you. On December the 12th, approximately 12.30 p.m., Economy Borough Police Department was notified that a resident walking on Mason Road had discovered a human head. The human remains were located in a wooded area slightly off the roadway on Mason Road. Mason Road is located in a wooded residential area and it's not a heavily traveled road. The Economy Borough Police Department, Beaver County Detective's Office, Beaver County Coroner's Office, Beaver County 911, and Caesar Cadaver Dogs and the Economy Fire Department conducted an extensive search in the area and the surrounding areas. No further evidence was found throughout that search. We do have plans with assistance from the Pennsylvania State Police Aviation Unit to continue an air search. However, due to last week's weather, we have not been able to coordinate that yet. The investigation by the Beaver County Coroner indicate that the human head had been embalmed there's not any indication as to how long ago that embalmment took place. The human remains appear to be that of a female, 50 years or older, with whitish gray hair that appeared to have been styled. Her teeth were intact and in good condition. Her identity is unknown. We have um, been in contact with um, the University of Pittsburgh Medical School, the Humanity Gifts Registry, and all members of the Pennsylvania Coroner's Association um, in hopes that they could help us with this case too. Um, the specimen has also been examined by Dr. Dennis Dirkmat, who is a forensic anthropologist. He is currently uh, employed by Mercyhurst College. And we've also um, employed Dr. Charles Beal, who is a forensic odontologist, to as assist us as well. We, we believe this woman had been laid to rest. She's somebody's loved one, sister, mother, grandmother, or an aunt. The Economy Borough Police Department is asking for any information to help identify this woman. We have set up a leads and tip line inside our police department, so if anyone with any information about this woman's identity or the crime that has taken place, please contact, contact us at 724-876-0380 or email at us at police at economyboroughpd.com. The head, uh, the removal showed some um, anatomical knowledge. The answer to your question is the general assumption has to be made that uh, a funeral home or a uh, mortician would have been involved as far as the embalming. However, remote as it may be, we can't eliminate any possibility, even though they may be remote. Stealing gets us in a whole different area completely. And what I mean by that is, is, is somebody could have thought that this body was secure either in transit or in disposition, and a theft occurred at that point. But we, again, 
the, as I answered before, we have to be able to identify this person in order to be able to backtrack, so to speak, and find what exactly uh, how this body was dis um, handled at that point. Mortuary science is a science, and it's been my experience that uh, as far as disposition of the remains, there's a great deal of care given by morticians. And so this case uh, begs the question, what I mean by that is people should still feel secure when they go to the mortician that the remains are handled properly. Um, I'm speculating now, but it's obvious to all of us that somebody intervened at some point, whether just prior to burial, transportation, or after. Mm -hmm. And that's the person that we're looking for. Uh, right now, we're, we're looking at a, pot a potential theft charge or abuse of corpse charge. Um, and that's what we're looking at now.